Welcome to another Essential SQL Minute. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the Choose function with Select. So the format for the Choose function is Choose, and then an index, and a value list. So let's take a look at this a little closer and talk about the parameters. So first, let's talk about what a value list is. Essentially, a value list is just a list of literal values, uh, typically text values, that are separated by commas. So a good example of a value list would be something like uh, gold, silver, or bronze. And then the index in the choose function can be a number, like 1, 2, or 3. And then we can use that index to select the item in the value list that, list that we wish, wish to display. So in our example here, if I did, let's say, select, choose two gold, silver, bronze, it's going to select the second item out of our value list. So this will choose silver. So let's run this. And you'll see that silver was selected. So you may be wondering, well, what happens if I decide to check, select zero? Will it pick null or perhaps gold? Well, let's see. It picks null. So when I select something that is outside of the range, it picks null. So let's try something that's outside and be up above the range, such as four. Whoops, let's hit execute on that. And here it hits select null again. So if it can't find the index in the list, it'll come back with null, which is kind of cool. That's a lot better than I think coming back with like a error like index out of range. So I like that. One thing that is interesting though is if you do a choose of like choose 2.5 and execute it, it will take the 2.5 and convert it to an integer and then run the command. So in this case, it took 2.5, changed it to the integer 2, ran the command, and then picked silver. If this was, let's say, 2.6, it should still pick silver because it's rounding it down, right? It's basically when it takes the integer, it just lops off the decimal. It doesn't care. All right, so let's try a more comprehensive example using a query with a table from the AdventureWorks database. Before we do that, I want you to get the lay of the land of some data. So here is a query that I have set up that will select distinct job titles in organizations from the human resources employee table. The reason I'm doing this is I want you to see um, the various organization levels that are in the database for employees. And you can see here that, um, for instance, as my organization level is, is smaller, I start getting into like the C level organ um, level officers, such as the chief financial officers and CEOs, and there's the information services manager. Uh, as the organization level is a greater number, I start getting into um, individual contributors, those folks that are working on the production floor or in the offices. So I can use this information to instead of outputting a number of for the organization level perhaps giving it kind of a verbal description and using the choose command to select what that verbal description should be based off the organizational level number so I've written a command that I'll show you and then I'll explain to you how it works so let me grab my command that I've got here So we are going to display the employee's national ID number, their job title, their organization level, 
And then based on that level, we are going to select whether they are an executive or upper, middle, or um, lower management. So let's run this and see how it goes. So you can see now when I run the command, I'm getting vice president of engineering organizational level one is an executive. So I took the org level of one, I added one to it. So org level plus one is two. So one, two is an executive upper is three, right? So there's org level one or two, I'm sorry. So two plus one is three, one, two, three is upper and so on. Someone here in here, I suppose is a organization, organization level of zero. And that's why I added the organizational level of um, plus one. So here's an example of how you can use choose with some real data to in a sense um, add some descriptive values to what would be otherwise um, numeric information.